USDCHA analysis. One of my students asked me to do this analysis, and that's why we are here, guys. So appreciate uh, this video because um, I would really want to answer him in a very uh, great way. So these analyses are for you and for everyone who is interested. Yes, this HF will start for monthly. By the way, if you go to four hour, if you open your chart and you and you go straight to four hour, it will be hard to understand what the market is doing. For me, I tell people, even if you want to do analysis, kindly start from the monthly. It will give you, it will give you um, a clear path. So USDCHF generally, it has been a very choppy market because uh, since 2011, it has been ranging. You can imagine a market that is ranging more than 13 years. So it is an a ranging, but we won't focus on um, previous years, but we'll focus on previous months. So if I focus on the previous month, the market is an it's a downtrend. Why? Because we had this double top. Can you see there's a double top here? We have this double top, very clear double top. And then this double top, this happened to be our neckline. You can see this is our neckline. And then the market broke the neckline. You want to see have they finished the distance? Have they finished the distance of the double top? Because guys, I keep saying half the distance is what is guaranteed, but the the complete distance is not guaranteed. So we want to see, did they finish half the distance? Oh, they have a long way. They have never finished. So that is the half of the distance and this is the full distance. This should be our neckline, let me put it red. So basically that's how our chart is. Comment down below and tell me if you have been analyzing this HF. Have you ever discovered it has a double top that go way to 2019? It has a double top from 2019. So that double top is what is making this market to sell. So you can see we, we were given the double top activated around here. Let's see our half of this double top. Where is our half? Can you see guys what happened? The market gave us an entry here using WBB, then reached half, fell to break, came back again to the same area, and then now they broke half. So if you entered around here, the market ranged, went down, broke neckline, retraced for two months, and then this is the time the market is going down. And I think that's why the market broke this resistance and it dropped. Why? Because it had already a pattern, it, had, it was following a pattern. By the way, if you have never noticed, this resistance was broken, meaning the buyers will always come back to rectify that because I don't know how they call it, but anytime a resistance is broken and the market retraces and it never goes back, uh, buyers come in and like they, they have to come back to that area. So basically, who is in control? Sellers are in control. Why? Because you can see last month, the month of December, how we closed 2023, the market broke that support. So sellers, are, sellers we are seeing sellers being powerful. And then the, the green candle, the few days, the three days, the market is trying to buy or to retrace back. So how many pips have it retraced? 177 pips. So now having this mind, having this mind, you are, it's easier for you to trade. So we don't have any pattern. On monthly, it's suggesting that we continue looking for sell. Let's go on weekly. On weekly, what do we have? The same thing, there was a resistance break. There was this resistance break. And then here we have a support, a support breaking. So support breaking and immediately the support break a whole week it dropped and then you can see this retracement again we do not have a pattern so there's nothing there when you go to daily let's see daily 
When you go to the daily time frame, first of all, what I can see is the 3CB strategy. The 3CB strategy is for my students. So if you're interested, you can buy my course and you'll get that strategy. 3CB, 3CB strategy happened there. And I think um, we got, I was in this trade, we got 50 pips already. And again, we do not have a pattern because the market is on a downtrend. So the question is, do I hope in this sell and sell or what should I do? So that's the, the question that many people are asking themselves. Do I enter? Do I enter immediately or what should I do? But if I go to four hour, finally, I have something that I've been looking for. And this is a pattern, guys. There is a activation of a possible double top. And I think this is what we need to pay attention. Why? Because when you have OPT in a part, when you have OPT, because this is OPT, we will find out if it is OPT. OPT, remember, it means one pattern on one time frame. So USDCHF OPT, double top OPT on four hour. So this is our half. So this OPT can give us two things. It can give us um, it can give us a cup and handle or a complete double top. So don't be so quick to say, oh, it's a sell. So I want to highlight the area. I want to highlight the area. I hope my students know you can understand what you are trying to, 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 to analyze by yourself. I'm doing this for you. Uh, for me, I will analyze at a pay even if it's someone, it's only one person who is interested. Uh, that's how committed I am. You can see we don't have a, a resistance on the daily, making it OPT. So here we have OPT. Yes, this HF has OPT. Yes, this HF has OPT, guys. So because OP, uh, yes, this HF has OPT, uh, what do we do? We do not have RBS. So the market comes, the market comes from the neckline. So let me first mark my neckline and we identify. So that's our neckline, it's too big. So that's our neckline and this is our half. So because this is our neckline, um, we can say it's not clear to me if this is RBS because I think it, we have RBS here. And RBS, it means the market, the market is a bit powerful. It can sell down. So for me, I think that is RBS. I can spot it there. And then this is our half. I don't want to explain RBS because again, it's a strategy for my students. Um, that is our half. So two things can happen here. Either we use CSB strategy to get into this sell trade strategy. So that's the first thing we need to do. We get, we do CSB strategy and we need to identify support like we have here. These are current support at the moment. So it can change anytime. So pay attention, it can change. If it did, if it does change, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to, to bring it closer. When it breaks target to half, when half breaks target to neckline and like that. So the first possibility of USD signature is breaking CSB and then CSB coming to half, breaking half going to the neckline, breaking neckline, and going completing. So this double top can be a complete double top. We might witness a complete double top. And guys, you need to understand, when I say complete double top, it has four TP. TP1 is at half, TP2 is at neckline, TP3 is at the half of the distance, and the last one, it's the the, the completing of the distance. So you might, you might have this, this is the first possibility. Um, the market might like that. 
and then you you might have a cup and handle. So both of them are powerful patterns. So you just need to pay attention. You just need to pay attention on what will happen. I will update you if we get an entry, if we get cup and handle, if we get cup. Uh, complete double top. So USD CHF, I will be updating you until we get the trade. If they violate, I'll still tell you the trade has been violated. So the other thing, the other outcome that we can get is the market coming down to the half, failing to break half, breaking first attempt, and then going up. So at the end of the day, the same double top can change to be a cup and handle or a complete double top. So I hope you will add USDCHF to your watch list. And as you analyze it by yourself, I hope it will give you a closure or you will be able to practice OPT. This is your, one of the trades to practice OPT. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Love you.